that I would forget the first part of this song. So I brought my book, my Oz book. <laughs> and I remembered I wanted to have written, um, oh, got it. I could while away the hours Conferring with the flowers Consulting with the rain In the forest I've been hatching While my head I've been discussing Found how to bring And if I was, I'd be thinking I could be another Lincoln Found had a brain Whoa, I could take you out The ocean's near so could think of things I never thought before And that stop And think some more I was nothing Just nothing My head all full of stuff And my heart all full of pain I would dance and be merry. Life would be under the dirty if I only had a brain. Hello, people. We're here at Encore Chat, and we're here with Mark Dacey, who performs around the whole area. He lives in Wayne, and he plays the whole club circuit around. Um, does a solo act, plays a mean 12-string, plays a lot of different styles of music. And Mark, I just want to ask you a couple questions. What what got you started? I've never met this man in my life, and I don't know what the heck you're doing here. I was told I was going to get money, there was yeah. going to be a limousine, and maybe some green yeah. M&Ms involved, and now suddenly I got questions. He's delusional. <laughs> yes, that I am. Um, what got me started? Yes. Started? Oh, gosh. Um, 
It was a little Twinkie and some coffee yeah, this morning. Uh, <laughs> normally, it's just pancakes. Uh, okay. but, uh, it, but if you mean musically speaking, mm. I don't yes. know. Um, so the Beatles on, on Ed Sullivan. Okay. Right here on Sheer Night before we bring out amazing comedy TV, Rhoda Martin. Hi, she, she was on <laughs> Sophie Tucker. Hmm. Where are the Beatles? She, so I went down and I saw the Beatles downstairs in, my, in, our, in our, our living room and took uh, uh, pictures of them, you know, uh, with my in, Brownie Instamatic. And of course, I got back 10 pictures of the TV, which was <laughs> nothing on it because there was no high definition. There was that lines that couldn't be transferred onto film, but I didn't know. But anyway, everybody watched the Beatles. We were waiting for them. We were waiting for them. They came and they took over the world and they took over my brain and my, our neighborhood. And everybody started singing and playing Beatles stuff. So and that's when you started. I built everything. a guitar in the basement out of cardboard. And we went to my friend's garage and we played Beatles songs until we like fell over. <laughs> that's that's the air guitar syndrome. Yeah, that's right. Was the air, that's that's me, I was before my time. That's incredible. I need I need a little bit of feedback. I need a little, little something on that there. Yeah, I should get some money on that uh, uh, air guitar. See that? You're the first one to invent it. And we had girls from the neighborhood who stand outside the uh, garage and go, Screaming. Yeah, we, it was great, man. There were only two of them, but it was. We asked them to shout but they loud. Sound loud. They, they, sound they were loud. loud. That's great. <laughs> oh, the Beatles, yeah. That's what yeah. got you going. Yeah. Did you, uh, did you, like, when, once you saw the Beatles, did you, did you, like, try to take lessons afterwards? I mean, did you. Tr yes, say, yes. You know, I want to take study? Well, like, you know, by my, I said, Dad, I can't play this. Like, cardboard guitar because right. it doesn't work you, you, these are strings and he goes hi why don't you not work make it work you no <laughs> and so no i'm kidding my dad loved me and he, he, he finally gave me a, a guitar you know it came with a record you know with a a record is a, a yeah <clears throat> it's what a, is a record it's a piece of plastic with grooves on it which it ask thomas edison Google him. He's a crazy guy, and he invented stuff. So mm -hmm. one of them was the phonograph record, and you could play it. And they, of course, you know, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, it came with the record because we only have ten minutes here, right? We only have ten minutes. I should, I should talk faster. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it came with the darn record. I mean, it was, so place your fingers here, do this thing, and then strum, and then all of a sudden oh, you're, you're your playing lesson you know, on Rocky Mountain Way. I'm going, no, it's a <laughs> Rocky Mountain Breakdown. What the hell? Is uh, Thirty years actually, ahead of your time. <laughs> yeah, no, it was oh, Shenandoah, as I remember, yeah. some dopey song. <laughs> but no, and so then I, I went and uh, I saw our neighbor, uh, our neighborhood uh, guitar uh, uh, shop guy, and he showed me how to play the guitar the right way for the wow. first, uh, you know, four or five years until I got my feet wet and I knew what to do with my fingers and I knew how to sing a song and accompany myself. And that's really all you had to do is to accompany yourself, and then right. you started to feel good about playing. And um, you know, I didn't want to play lead guitar; I just wanted to learn what the chords were and then uh, how to play a song. And it made me feel great. It made me feel great to be able to sing a song, to play a, along, um, you know, with the record, so I could learn it myself. And then uh, the, the guitar teacher would show me how to do this. It was great. It was good. So that's how I started. That's and, a great. Yeah. And um, then I became a teacher, and then, um, then I've been playing ever since. Yeah, I've been playing since I was 12 years old. Wow. Yeah, up the age of 10. I was gonna say, I don't know. <laughs> When's your social security coming in, John? Any blavics? I need yeah, exactly. injection now. <laughs> You're crazy. Oh You're my nuts. God. Oh, that's too much. Well, how long have you been here? You, I mean, this is a shrine, man. I love this place. Oh, and thanks. The guitars that's are great. I've been, I've been uh, trying to uh, get our illustrious director, producer, Joe Howell, to distract <laughs> Pete so that I can steal one of the guitars. <laughs> you can, thank you, buddy. Your yeah. choice. You can no, have it. Great. Oh, oh, oh my, good move! <laughs> he wasn't even supposed to do yeah. that. He, now we got to pay him. Now you're scale. in it. <laughs> <laughs> now he's That's on camera. Oh, oh the scale. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> I like that. Just hit me. But this great, great story. I thank you thank for you. having this great uh, story. You know, there's not a lot of places you can go and, and get lessons and, 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 and have a guitar where you can play uh, and have somebody to talk to about uh, how to play and, and what to do and how to tune it up and, and so forth. It's a wonderful place, Thanks, man. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, we're trying. You know, we're trying to get there. We want to get it get it out to the people and, like, you know, people that work hard at it like you obviously do. So you, if everybody can go on YouTube and look up Mark Dacey, you can see his style. It's incredible. Plays a 12 string like just unbelievable. His his fingering technique is just you can tell that the man worked at what he's got. There's no doubt about it. And his voice as well. You can hear the style. If you were to give advice to kids today, as far as learning, tell me what you think. Like what would you say to kids? Like it's it's obviously a, t a year a time where people are getting quick gratification. And we do realize that music is something you put into it, like the arts. It's like yeah. painting a canvas, which, or like acting. What you mm -hmm. put into it, you're going to get out of it. Right. What do you? What would you 
give any youth uh, today? I, you know, it's hard to talk about learning anything or spending time with anything when you know you pull up to a uh, fast food uh, store and you turn uh, pull up to McDonald's or Burger King or Taco Bell. Boom! Think <laughs> outside the bun. Thank you. I, I get my ten percent every time I say Taco Bell. <laughs> Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Um, no, but it's fun uh, when you, uh, you 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 drive up and you, uh, you say I want uh, you know, sliders and you and in, in the next ten seconds you've got sliders at the door, uh, which is great, you know. And then you give the man the money and everything's fast and it's groovy and it's easy. But you know, and I guess that makes you feel good uh, because you can eat the food right away. But you know, with an instrument, it's something special and um, it, it takes more time than just pressing a button. Um, and if you want to spend like two months uh, making your fingers uh, uh, very painful, uh, then you can have maybe 20 or 30 years worth of really feeling great by being able to pick up an instrument, going into a room, getting in touch with your emotions and your spirit, and maybe sharing that with some other people who you love. That's a very important thing because it's not a fast deal. No, it's not like, you know, I'm going to sit down at the computer and, and play the guitar. Uh, you know, and the first time you sat down on a computer, you might not have learned, uh, you know, uh, as fast as you wanted to. Um, so anything that's really worth something is going to take a little bit of time. And uh, the most important thing is uh, once you spend a little bit of time, um, then, then you have such a long relationship with that instrument and, and it, can, it can make you feel things and it can bring you places. I mean, I've been all around the world with my guitar and my guitar took me all around the world and still does, um, uh, literally. I mean, I've been on jet planes and, uh, and I've been hired in, in France and Italy and England and, and South America and I've been everywhere because uh, of those uh, two months that I got through, wow, that, that really hurts. I, I have to learn something. But once I did and I started getting those chords down, and I started singing, it made me feel great. And, and it's a great place to go. If you're depressed, if you're not feeling good, if you're feeling great, you can feel better. You can put that into your music too. You can make it happen. It's a real love relationship and love makes the world go round and it, it, it'll make you go around if you learn how to play an instrument and, and develop it and make it your own. That's great. And guys like you are great because you, you have a place like this where guys and girls can go and get started with that uh, adventure. Yeah. Oh, and I wanted to mention one thing. Great. Joe does uh, a lot of good work, and thank you for putting this show together because it's like documenting stuff that should be talked about and and uh, letting people know that guys like Pete are out here. So that's that's great. I want to thank Mark for stopping by. Mark Dacey, remember, check him out on YouTube. And uh, this is brought to you by Encore Chat. Thanks, guys. Really put an effort in to learn an instrument. It's so, so important. Thanks again for lending an ear. Thanks for stopping in to Encore Chat. I'm Pete Schmiedazer that owns a small little store called Schmied's Music, 831 Route 10 East in the Pine Plaza Shopping Center in Whippany, New Jersey. Thanks, guys, and stay in touch to see more videos to come.